Ron Hale, the revered actor whose five-decade career spanned multiple iconic roles in soap operas and film, has passed away at the age of 78. Best known for his role as Mike Corbin on ABC's General Hospital, Hale's death occurred on August 27, 2024, as confirmed by his family, though the exact cause of his passing has yet to be revealed. Hale, who retired from acting in 2018, was living in St. George, South Carolina at the time of his death, far from the Hollywood spotlight he once called home. His departure has left a profound void in the hearts of fans, colleagues, and the soap opera community that revered him for his powerful performances, humble demeanor, and lasting legacy. Born on January 2, 1946, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Ronald Hale displayed a love of performance from a young age. His formative years in the Midwest shaped his early interest in the arts, and he soon pursued this passion at Furman University, a liberal arts institution in Greenville, South Carolina. It was during his time at Furman that Hale began to develop his signature stage presence and acting technique, which would later serve as a foundation for a remarkable career. While still a student, Hale performed in local theater productions, honing his craft in venues like the Trustus Theater, which was co-founded by his brother and sister-in-law, Jim and Kay Thigpen. This close-knit, family-driven involvement in theater provided him with a unique grounding and experience in the world of performance. After gaining early experience on the stage, Hale made his television debut in 1968 with a guest appearance on the police crime drama NYPD marking the beginning of what would soon blossom into a prolific career. His transition to soap operas came soon after when he was cast in his first daytime drama, CBS's Search for Tomorrow, in 1969. His portrayal of a determined and emotionally complex character marked the start of a lifelong connection to soap opera audiences, who admired Hale's ability to bring nuanced, heartfelt performances to the screen. Hale's star continued to rise in 1975 when he took on one of his most notable roles, playing Dr. Roger Coleridge on the long-running soap Ryan's Hope. Set in New York City, the series focused on the Irish-American Ryan family and their trials and tribulations. Hale's performance as the driven but flawed Dr. Coleridge earned him widespread recognition, securing him two Daytime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Supporting Actor in 1979 in 1980. Alongside actors like Nancy Addison and Michael Levin, Hale's portrayal of Dr. Coleridge helped anchor the show, which ran for 14 successful years, ending in 1989. Ryan's hope became a hallmark of Hale's career and one of the definitive chapters of soap opera history. Hale's success in daytime television culminated with his celebrated role as Mike Corbin, the estranged father of mob boss Sonny Corinthos, played by Maurice Bernard, on General Hospital, which he began in 1995. Mike Corbin's complex relationship with his son, battling alcoholism, regrets, and redemption, made Hale's performance resonate deeply with audiences. For over 15 years, Hale breathed life into the character, becoming one of the most beloved figures on the show. In 2011, after a lengthy tenure on General Hospital, Hale retired from the role with actor Max Gale stepping in to continue Mike's storyline. Despite his retirement, Hale's portrayal of Mike Corbin left an indelible mark on both the show and its viewers, cementing his place in soap opera history. During his time on General Hospital, Hale also took on roles in other productions, including a starring role in the ABC drama Port Charles. Airing from 1997 to 2000, the spin-off series further showcased Hale's versatility as an actor and demonstrated his ability to carry multiple demanding roles simultaneously. Even as he juggled various projects, Hale's performances remained consistently powerful, making him a respected fixture in the world of daytime television. Though Hale was best known for his work in soap operas, his acting career extended beyond the small screen. He appeared in guest roles on popular primetime shows, including Matlock in 1989 and MacGyver in 1990. His talents also earned him a spot in the acclaimed political thriller All the President's Men 1976, where he shared the screen with Hollywood heavyweights Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman. This film, centered around the investigative journalism that uncovered the Watergate scandal, 
remains one of the most highly regarded films of the 1970s, and Hale's involvement added to the richness of his diverse career. In 2017, Hale made his final acting appearance in the film The Ghost and the Whale, a mystery drama in which he starred alongside legendary actress Tippi Hedren. The film, which tells the story of a man accused of murdering his wife, offered Hale a poignant final performance, rounding out a career defined by deeply emotional and challenging roles. Just one year later, in 2018, Hale officially announced his retirement from acting in an interview with Soaps in Depth, stating that after 50 years in the entertainment industry, it was time to step away and enjoy a quieter life. On a personal level, Hale experienced both love and loss. In 1972, he married Dude Hale and became a stepfather to her three children from a previous relationship. The couple remained devoted to each other until Dude's untimely death in 1989, a loss that profoundly affected Hale. Despite the challenges, he never remarried, instead focusing on his family, including his nieces and nephews, to whom he was very close. According to his obituary, Hale is survived by Lori Brown, Janet Brabham, Max Brabham, Aaron Wilson Lawrence, and Mark Brown Betsy, all of whom cherish their uncle's gentle spirit and commitment to family. Tributes from friends, fans, and former co-stars poured in following the news of Hale's death. Actor Billy Warlock, known for his roles on Baywatch and Happy Days, took to social media platform X, formerly Twitter, to share his grief. Warlock, who had worked with Hale on several projects, described him as an amazing talent and an even better friend. His heartfelt message echoed the sentiments of many in the industry who had the privilege of knowing and working alongside Hale. It's with a heavy heart that we've lost another great one, Warlock wrote. Ron was a remarkable actor, but his kindness and friendship meant even more. I will miss him deeply. Fans, too, took to social media to express their sorrow, sharing memories of Hale's performances that had touched their lives. Many recalled his work on Ryan's Hope and General Hospital, praising the authenticity and depth he brought to every character. His legacy as a soap opera icon, they said, would endure for generations. Though Ron Hale has left us, his contributions to television, film, and theater will continue to inspire actors and captivate audiences. His ability to portray characters with complexity, vulnerability, and strength made him a beloved figure in the world of daytime drama and beyond. From his humble beginnings in Michigan to his rise as a soap opera legend, Hale's remarkable career is a testament to his passion for the craft and his enduring impact on the entertainment world.